This was, uh, I think, a, a good day in the effort for justice for survivors of sexualized violence. A new Supreme Court ruling on consent could lead to sexual assault charges for people who ignore their partner's requests to use a condom. In a 5-4 decision on Friday, the top court ruled that ignoring someone's request to use a condom makes intercourse non-consensual and a complainant's autonomy and equal sexual agency have been violated. Lise Gotel has researched sexual assault for years and says the court's decision brings clarity to the law where it didn't exist before and affirms people's sexual autonomy. The court has made it very, very clear that when you're consenting to sex with a condom, you are not consenting to sex without a condom. The decision stems from a BC case where the complainant told a new sex partner named Ross Mackenzie Kirkpatrick that she would only have sex with him if he used a condom. Kirkpatrick used a condom the first time they had sex, but during the second time, he didn't, which he only realized afterwards. The sexual assault charge against him was initially dropped, but that case will now go to a retrial because of this development. So condom use, according to this decision, is part of the sexual activity in question. It is part of what you consent to when you are consenting to sex. Angela Marie McDougall with Battered Women's Support Services says the decision is an opportunity for survivors of sexual assault to get justice. In light of many of the cases that we've seen recently, where there's this question about whether the woman consented or not, uh, the addition of condom use uh, in this piece, I think will go a long way to uh, making visible the ways in which sexualized violence is endemic and epidemic. The judge in Friday's decision relied on a previous case in 2014 where a man poked holes in condoms to get his girlfriend pregnant. Well, it tells us just how much sexualized violence happens within an intimate partner relationship. The outcome of that case didn't extend consent to condom tampering and has been criticized for making the laws around consent unclear for years. Gattel says this new ruling will have a ripple effect as courts see Canada as a leader in sexual assault law. Lawmakers and judges are looking to our law um, all the time because we have really been ahead in terms of forging a, an affirmative consent standard.